first setup we're going to cover today is two powered tops with one powered subwoofer, a DJ mixer, and a turntable. First thing you're going to do is just take your left output of the mixer and run it to the left input of your top box. On the right side, take the right output of the mixer and go into the input of your subwoofer first. Then take the link output from the subwoofer and run it into the line one input on the top box. Go ahead and power everything up, feed it some signal, and you're good to go. The next setup we're going to cover is two powered tops with a powered subwoofer in a mono configuration. The first thing you're going to want to do is take the mono output from your mixer and run it to the line input of your subwoofer. From the link output of your subwoofer, run it to the line input of your first top box. Then run a line from that link output to the line input on your next top. Then adjust your level to a desirable, undistorted volume and you're good to go. Next we're going to cover using the ELX-112P input panel to mix two different sources. You can go ahead and take the output of a DJ mixer, your iPod, a CD player, or any line level input and plug it into input 1. You can go ahead and just turn your gain up to noon as a starting point before we get our second source. I'm going to go ahead and use a microphone, which would just be an XLR cable into input two. You'll want to select mic or line depending on what you're using, in our case a microphone. And then adjust our second line level to mix the two sources and then use the master level to get the overall volume to your desired amount. 